Spirit clients are there like this. A one X plus B one Y plus C one is equal to zero. And A two X plus B two Y plus C two is equal to zero. Two straight lines are there. They are in general form. They are in general form. Now, if two lines, two lines are there. If two lines are parallel, this one. If a one is parallel to a, we know. If two lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. Their slopes must be equal. That means slope of L1, you know, slope of L1, we have already discussed. That is minus A1 by B1. And slope of L2. It is minus a two by b. Already we have discussed in the previous video that slope of a line is minus a by b. So we have slope of this straight line l one is minus a one by b one. Slope of the line l two is minus a two by b. Now if two lines are parallel. Their slopes must be equal, or the slides m1 is equal to m2, or the slide minus a1 by b1 is equal to minus a2 by b, or the slide a1 by b1 or a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b. So, if two lines are parallel, a one by a two is equal to b one by b. So, you should remember this to check whether two straight lines are parallel or not. Now, if they are perpendicular, if a one is perpendicular to a, if they are perpendicular. The product of their slopes should be minus one. Already we have discussed in chapter one that is, if two straight lines are mutually perpendicular to each other, then the product of their slopes must be minus one. Or this implies m1 into m2 must be minus one. So m1 you see here is minus a1 by b1 into minus a2 by b2. That should be equal to minus one, or this implies a one a two is equal to minus b one b two, or a one a two plus b one b two must be equal to zero. A one a two plus b one b two must be equal to zero. A two straight lines are mutually perpendicular to each other. Like this, mutually perpendicular. So you should remember these things about the general equation of the straight line. If a general equation of the straight line is given, we can find out the slope easily by minus a by b. And if two straight lines are parallel to each other, then a one by a two must be equal to b one by b. And if two straight lines are mutually perpendicular to each other, then a one a two plus b one b two must be zero. You don't need to write all these things. You should remember this and this the formula. You should try to understand this. You don't write these things all about and you just remember if two straight lines are parallel, then a one by a two is equal to b one by b two. If two straight lines are perpendicular. Then a one a two plus b one b two must be 